Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. I've been looking into all kinds of videos that I want to I do for this YouTube channel and one of them was about workout splits because ever since I started working out I've heard so many workout splits and so many people just telling you to do this workout and that workout and I'm going to talk about what has worked for me what I would recommend other people Okay, so I'm going to be talking to you guys while I am doing my pre-workouts but basically I swam for 14 years very competitively and I was about 160-70 pounds which is really good but at the same time I was kind of skinny I did have abs but I was not very strong like I could run for miles I think I did a mile for 536 which is not bad but at the same time I wanted to be stronger I wanted to be strong muscular and running doesn't actually give you that of course you can do hybrid training which is something that I'm actually interested in which is basically doing three to four times gym a week and then after that do like two or three times a week of cardio which could be swimming biking or running but my workout split at the moment is pretty simple I do one to two muscles per day I train six to seven times a week because I actually was resting for some days before I would do like two days rest a week but I didn't find that very helpful because first thing I like to do in the gym well first thing I like to do in the morning is go to the gym and get my workout done then I'm gonna be able to actually have a good day because when I don't get my workout done then I'm kind of cranky and I'm just thinking a little bit too much I have too much energy and I just need to release that energy, especially in the morning. So that's why I like to wake up, have a good time with my family before I go, have a banana. I have some pre-workout. Yeah, my workout split is not too complicated, but for example, today I'm gonna be doing shoulders and back. Yesterday I did legs. I did legs with a little bit of arms. So I tried to use things that I like but also at the same time, something that I'm missing. So for example, when my caps right now, I don't know if you can see, but they're not the biggest and I wanna get them a bit bigger. So I try to do calves every single day for the beginning of my workout. So that way, that's like the easiest part, it's done and I get out of the way. And I also like to stretch every time before I hit a workout. All right, gym ready. We're gonna go get Starbies for the wifey, and then we're gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna show you some of the exercises that I like to do, especially for chest, because, for example, flat bent, flat bench is not really good for my shoulders. My shoulders are messed up, so I'm just trying to do whatever works out for me, and especially heavy. I used to do heavy weights. I don't do that anymore especially on the bench, I go for like 185, no more than 225 because that really destroys my shoulders. I have a rotator cuff injury for both of them, so it's not worth it as long as I go slow, but just control the tempo. That's when I think my muscles feel the best. There are so many gyms here in San Diego, but honestly, being able to just walk down, I don't know, like what, 50 steps and get to the gym, it's convenient, it saves time, and that is the reason why I joined the Crunch Gym membership here in Coma Valley. Still thinking about different gyms that are nicer, more expensive, and you get to meet people in higher status, that you would say. But, I don't know, just so satisfying. I don't even have to drive. It's literally, literally across the street from where I live. So, it saves a lot of time, but, with that being said, I'm gonna stretch really well for 20 minutes. That's what I do every single morning. And then we're gonna hit a chest workout and some back too.
just finished the gym session right now that we just did chest and back and I just wanted to explain that there are many workout plans that you can follow and you can try but I think what you first should consider is what are your goals and what do you want to improve on so for example I told you that my calves are not where I want them to be so I was working more on them I do try to exercise and hit them every single day even at the beginning or at the end because I just want to improve them so for example if you're lacking a chest for me I like my chest but I want it to get bigger you need to work more in your chest and you need to work around with your workouts for what you want to accomplish so if you want a bigger back bigger chest bigger arms make sure you set your five priorities ahead and then from there you kind of go and hit those muscles and improve on what you need to improve on but another thing that I'm going to say is that I, at the beginning of this video, I did say that I'm trying to get more into cardio, running, biking, and that's because I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately about um, hybrid athletes that are doing everything. And even, I think it was David Goggins that said that he rather deadlift 500 pounds and be able to run 100 miles and do all kinds of crazy stuff, be able to do everything not only be strong at the gym that is something that i'm currently lacking on like running for me i can do one to two miles but it's going to be very very challenging to do five to ten miles so one reason why i created this youtube channel is for me to show myself the journey and also have accountable have a partner which is you guys that are being accountable towards me that see my progress and that I'm gonna be able to see back in a year for what I told myself that I'm gonna do and if I actually did it or didn't do it which puts the standard much higher than just thinking it to myself like oh yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do the running I'm gonna do the biking but then when nobody's watching you even if it's my fiance or my family I can trick them into saying something but then not actually delivering it so that's why I think if you are starting working out, find a friend or start filming yourself and tell yourself what you want to do while you're filming yourself. Because when you do that, I can guarantee you that you're going to work much harder. That's what happened to me today at the gym. When I finished five exercises, both for my, for my back and for my chest I told myself okay I've done so much I'm gonna go home now but then I told myself okay but if I did that because I know I have two more exercises if I do that then I'm gonna let you guys down because I'm telling you what to do and I'm not delivering and I'm not telling you what actually you need to do meaning I'm not doing the things I told you I'm gonna do so that pushed me so find somebody local that you can go to the gym with a buddy a friend or even with your phone you don't need a fancy camera just buy a tripod and start recording yourself start showing the progress and then from there you can even start a business of fitness or something that you're passionate about because i guarantee a lot of people when they start feeling good they're gonna try to spread the word they're gonna try to tell everybody and then people don't understand you because they're fat they're out of shape and they don't want to be uncomfortable they don't want to go out there and run when it's fucking raining they don't want to do all those things because it's much easier to stay on the couch to eat those doritos imagine the life you could have lived especially if you're a man imagine the life you could have lived if you became the best version of yourself that's what i keep telling myself every single day wake up 
take care of your body. That's why I go to the gym six to seven times a week because I need to take care of my body, not only for me, but to show other people that it's not okay to not do that, to not to take care of your body. With that being said, that is kind of my workout plan. I do one muscle per day, sometimes even do even two. I try to hit the gym every single morning. That's kind of my priority. And I hope you stay for the journey. I'm actually recording myself just walking around in Karma Valley and I'm gonna try to help you as much as I can and also to document this journey because it's uncomfortable for me just so you know recording myself at the gym but I will keep doing it so I can prove you and myself that with documenting your life showing it to other people you can become the better version of yourself not for other people but also for yourself that's what I'm trying to do that's what's gonna happen and I cannot wait to show you guys more about it so with that being said the camera is getting a little bit heavier I'm still getting the shoulder pump shoulder workout by holding this camera it is kind of heavy I think it's like a pound but anyway with that being said I'm excited to show you more about my life and just teach you more things that I wish I would have been taught when I was younger and help you become the best version of yourself that I know you can be that I know that you will be if you put the effort in which is exactly what I'm trying to do right now so hope you like the video share subscribe with other people that you think are gonna like this video and until next time do the hard things even if you're not feeling it and even if you are feeling down just take care of everybody first that's Vidanya